guys welcome back to another vlog i'm gonna be vlogging the next couple of days and i'm really excited to be vlogging because it's finally starting to feel like fall in boston so i'm like okay since fall is in a few days i'm pretty sure the first day falls september 23rd so we are going to start to do well i want to get like candles and stuff also they have this new cult brew at what's it called blink street i'm like drawing a blink and i really want to go get it it's like a shaken pumpkin cold brew or something i mean mac and i already had coffee today we just got back from graystone i shot a campaign the outfit that i'm wearing right now it's for the campaign that i just shot and i well i had to do a little reshoot because the first time that i took the pictures the brand wanted me to retake it because i was wearing a hat with this outfit i did i took the pictures back in like august i was wearing a little hat and there was a logo on the hat and they didn't want any logos and i told them i was like oh i can like have someone photoshop it out and they were like no you have to reshoot it so i just got back from doing that and we stopped at graystone on the way home and i got a nice dirty chai and it was so good wait i'm excited i bought a couple packages while i was gone and i thought that i would open them up and show you guys and i just got a little package from you guys can't even see the card from ever j they have really soft what are they called why am i why can i not like speak and think right now they have really soft pajamas and i used to wear their pajamas like a few years ago i think back in like 2020 i was obsessed with pajama sets and i would order them off of the ever j ones off of revolve all the time and i had like a bunch of different colors they had like shorts they have shorts pants oh i got the shorts because i i personally don't like sleeping i either have to do like a long sleeve shirt with shorts or pants with like a short sleeve shirt i can't do both so i got the little shorts i'm a size medium and these are blue with like a little chocolate brown detail and oh yay short sleeve I'm excited to wear these tonight they're so cozy and so soft and i don't know i feel like i when i wear like little sets i feel so much more put together when i like i don't know you know when you like put on a little set you're doing your skincare it's just like cute and then you can get up in the morning like make your coffee it's just like cute little outfit and then i also got okay i have three and one of them i already know what it is because i can see it straight on the box i got a bunch of protein powder sent from my one of my favorite protein brands new zest they have really clean protein and i got new flavors so they sent a strawberry one i always post about this and they reached out and they wanted to send me some new flavors because usually i only do i get the unflavored one but they sent vanilla and then they sent strawberry so I'm excited to try those. Okay, though that was probiotic strawberry and probiotic vanilla. And then we have wild strawberry and rich chocolate as well. Okay, go off new zest. They sent me, they have daily good green vitality, daily nutrient boost. So I think this is like a greens supplement. Mix one scoop with water or juice. Yeah, they came out with a greens powder and they sent me a little like bottle a shaker bottle and i'm so excited about this next package i got a few sweaters from jenny kane i'm part of their ambassador program so i get to pick out a few things each month and i'm so grateful to be a part of this like jenny kane has been one of my favorite brands for a few years and i started out like really loving their candles and their home decor i have a bunch of pillows and throws from them and last month i started to become an ambassador so they actually gave me a discount code it's maggie 15 it'll get you 15 percent off of your order if you order from them and i got my picks for this month i'm really excited about this first sweater i hope this is going to fit but it is a more fitted sweater and it has like a silhouette that looks like an hourglass like it pinches in in your waist and it's so cute it's called the cooper cardigan and i got it in black and then this one right here is the cashmere 
cocoon cardigan which i have this in tan i was wearing it this morning it's my favorite cardigan to throw on when i am like walking the dogs in the morning it's so soft and cozy obviously like i don't only wear it for walking the dogs but whenever i do go into my closet to grab something to throw on it's always my cocoon cardigan from jenny kane i get this one in an extra small because it is it does run big so i got a black one since i already have a tan i'm gonna go get the tan to show you guys the color because it's like such a beautiful color in person this is what it looks like I love it. I've had it for a couple of years. I love the buttons. I just love the color of it. I feel like, I don't know, it's one of my favorites. Also, their sweaters are pricey, but I really feel like they're a great investment because you can wear them so many times and they're such good quality that if you invest in one, I feel like you'll get so much use out of it. Okay, we have one more oversized cotton pullover. Oh, actually, I got a t-shirt also. Okay, this one is so cute. Just like a cozy pullover sweater. And this one's a little bit more lightweight. Would look so cute with like a pair of like baggy vintage Levi's or even like a really fitted pair of like tight like boot cut or like, you know, jeans that kind of like are not oversized but not like too flare. Maybe like a pair of boots or a pair of flats or something. Or even sneakers and then i got this t-shirt this is the vintage pocket tee in white it's just like a cute little oversized t-shirt i'm gonna do a try on on my tiktok of these pieces so if you want to see what they look like on go to my tiktok it's maggie.mcdonald and i'm gonna try all these on <laughs> also i'll link them down below if you guys are interested in any of them and don't forget you can use my discount code to get money off your order my cleaning people just got here i'm trying to finish some work really quick before i head out and go run some errands i have to go drop off some clothing donations and i have to go to the grocery store and pick up a few things and then go to the dry cleaner i'm on a cute outfit that top that i got from jenny kane i'll show you guys in the mirror really quick what i threw on just a pair of jeans these are by girlfriend and they're the Bella Low Rise and then I just threw on a little belt, Javianas, and put my hair back up in a clip and I have a little black bag I'm gonna use and some sunglasses, but I didn't wanna wear like leggings or anything like that because I've been really trying to put more effort into like the way that I look because I feel like it makes me feel so much more motivated throughout the day and I feel like I get more done. <laughs> So I've been doing my makeup and I've been like putting on real clothes because I have so many clothes that I just like never wear because if I don't leave my house, like I literally just wear leggings. So now I'm like forcing myself to get all dressed up. I also am using this new lip combo from Makeup Forever. This is Anywhere Caffeine. And then this lip is the shade 162 by YSL, I really like it. They sent this to me and I love it. This is obviously what it looks like. My makeup is like old on my face. And you know when like cream products, I've seen TikToks about cream products like separating throughout the day. I definitely need to touch it up. It doesn't look the best, but it's like 4.30 right now and I'm not really that worried about it. But my best friend Graydon just texted me his merch drop today well he did like a restock restock of his quirky merch and it sold out and i'm so proud of him and it just makes me so happy because i just know he was made for this and i love that he like has his own little community on tiktok and he sold out his merch twice and i'm just oh i literally could cry he's my favorite person in the whole world like we've been best friends for like 13 years and i just love him so much and i'm just so proud of him and just makes me so happy and yeah but oh my god guys i just got a oh my god i'm so excited i just got a offer email to work with a brand that i really really love and i'm so excited I'm like freaking out. This is so exciting. Okay, I gotta go because I feel bad. Milo's like scratching at the door and I need to get this done and I need to leave my house because I, they need to get in here and like do the floors and stuff. <laughs>
I just got to Whole Foods, but I think probably one of the worst possible things you can do before you go into the grocery store is not eat or like be hungry and that's me right now. I'm like starving and I'm like, I shouldn't be doing this. Cause one, it makes you get a bunch of stuff you don't need. I mean, that's just what they say. <laughs> Getting stuff for dinner. Green's gonna come over, we just got off FaceTime and we're gonna make burgers tonight. And I'm really excited. I was supposed to get a little snack when I was in there and I didn't. I forgot. I literally got to the line and I was like, oh my god, I forgot to get something to eat and I don't have anything at the house. Actually, I'm being dramatic. I probably have something. But I was so excited because I saw the pumpkins right when I walked in. I was like, oh my god, I need to get a few for the house. And I got a little potted thing of flowers for outside and it reminded me last year when I got them for my house, I was in the car on the way home. Oh my God, and there was a massive spider, which I still didn't find <laughs> to this day. I don't know what happened to the spider, but this is your sign like to check when you get pumpkins and plants and stuff. Be careful and like check your car because you never know what little creatures are gonna come in from the plants and stuff. I mean, they sit outside, so just be careful because the spider was huge and it was really scary. <laughs> and I was like freaking out. I remember being so terrified. Look who's here. Howdy, everybody. My private chef. Just cutting up a pickle. <laughs> Actually, guys, I have something to tell you. So you know this brand, Gorillos. Graydon tagged them on Instagram and he was like, can you guys get new packaging? Because every single time... I opened it up like I get squirted in the eye and they up. responded and they said that they have a new package coming soon and I'm really excited. We were saying we hope that it's a glass container with like a twist lid. Like an old fashioned ass. Pickle. What happened to the old fashioned pickle jars? I know. Well, too expensive well, <laughs> to wait. make. That's why they put everything but in like, plastic. Like does it. You know Clawson? No. I like you don't know, you've never had a Clawson fucking pickle? I probably have, like the OG. Yeah, they're so fucking good. They're like, I'd argue that they're like, they're more classic than a Grillo. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like maybe they've been around longer. They have. They're like 200 years old. So good. Pickle. Greta made a, well, he's making a burger sauce right now, but he made an aioli, a truffle aioli. Like a fake, like, Oh my god, Not it's from scratch, so good. Mayo. Yeah, he used mayo, but it I didn't make my own it's mayo. so, so good. And then burger sauce. Oh, and then we have these fries right here, which are just waffle fries that you bake in the oven. I'll show you guys the brand. Alexia. Alexia seasoned waffle fries. They're so good. Wow, I love those look good. Like I forgot. A little smashy. Wow. Great, and those look so good. Of course. Okay, wow, that looks so good. I think this is the best burger that we've made. making a little smoothie i watch youtube for way too long i watch like a 30 minute vlog and i did not have that much time because i need to go get ready shower and do my makeup and stuff because i have to go to back bay so i can go to wedding dress fitting with emma today and yeah so anyway i need to have something really quick we're gonna get lunch after with graydon he's meeting us but i'm gonna do a little smoothie. This has been my go-to smoothie lately. Banana, frozen berries, and then I do flaxseed, hemp seed, almond milk, protein, dates, and coconut yogurt. Hey guys, I'm running so late right now. It's 11.08, I was supposed to be there at 11. 
and I feel bad because Emma is there by herself. Like my, our mom can't go today because she has a hair appointment. So it's just me and Graydon's gonna come meet us. But I just feel bad because she's there by herself right now and I probably won't be there for another like 10 minutes. So yeah, also I'm just like, I've had a really tough time getting dressed this morning. I don't know why because I put on the same thing every single time I get dressed. I just put on jeans, a belt, and a t-shirt. But I just don't feel, I don't know, like none of my clothes are fitting me the right way right now. Like my jeans, none of them fit. They're all like way too big for me. Like too baggy. And I don't know, I just like don't like it right now. Like I don't like the fit of them because I put them on and I feel like they stretch throughout the day and they get like so baggy and then I just like, they're just not flattering. Also, I don't like my hair at all right now. I don't know why I cut it so much. Like, <laughs> it was so long and I got like stressed and overwhelmed. I felt like I just needed to cut it so then I cut it and then now I like kept cutting it and cutting it and now I'm like, why did I do that? I don't really love the length of it right now. Also, I don't know, my hair is just like so straight that I just like don't really ever style it. I guess it's my fault, like I need to just learn how to style my hair and get better at it. But I don't, I just like let it air dry and it's just like straight and flat. But I don't know, I'm just having like, a crisis today I guess because my jeans don't fit and I just like don't like the length of my hair and also I wanted to put self tanner on last night but I took a bath and my bath was like definitely way too hot because I got out and I started to feel like so sick and then I got into the shower and that was also really hot and then I just got out and then I did my skincare and I was like I can't put self tanner on right now and I like desperately need it because I feel so you know, pale, and I don't know. I don't wanna like say anything like bad about myself or say anything negative, you know? And you shouldn't either. We should always be kind to ourselves, and I feel like these are little things that like nobody notices, you know, other than, I feel like we, we are so hard on ourselves because you see yourself every single day in the mirror, in your phone, just like, Constantly and I feel like it's so easy to be like pick apart little things about yourself that people don't even notice so although I'm like kind of Going a little crazy right now. I need to uh, like reel it in and be More kind to myself and be more graceful because I'm like over here freaking out. I'm like, okay Do I need ex to get hair extensions? Do I need to go get a spray tan? I need to get rid of all my clothes and buy new clothes because my jeans don't fit right. Like, I don't know, I'm just struggling with this at the moment. And um, yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna drive and go meet Emma at this appointment. And I'll show you guys a little bit. I don't wanna take away from, or I don't know, I don't know what Emma wants to show or not, so I'm gonna ask her if I can film a little bit just to be able to show you guys a little behind the scenes. Hi you guys, we just finished up lunch at Salty Girl on Newberry and it was so good. The lobster roll is like literally the best that I've had in Boston and we got oysters and caviar and I got a little mocktail and it was so good and now we're just walking. I have to go exchange a pair of shoes. I got a pair of Chanel ballet flats a couple of weeks ago and every time I go to wear them and I put them on, I'm like, wait, are they too tight? And do they not fit me like they should? I get like such bad anxiety and I'm like, I don't want to wear these out of my house if they don't, if they're not, if they don't fit me. And if I need like a half size up. 
so I'm gonna go see and try them on before I wear them. <laughs> oh, you guys, my car's fucking blocked in by this schmuck. No. <laughs> no. 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 I'm or nor. I'm gonna go home to move. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Drive safe. I will. Just got back home and I want to show you guys a couple of things that I got before I go upstairs because I'm gonna try on the jeans that I got. I got a bunch of new pairs of jeans from Rag and Bone. I literally got like four pairs so we are gonna go try those on upstairs once i get done but i got a couple of fall candles because i've been in like the fall mood lately since fall is in a couple of days i'm like okay i, I can finally go and get candles and we go through candles so much in this house so i just picked up two big ones from anthropology i got the spiced cider by capri blue and then I also got, I think this one is Capri Blue also, and it's called Pumpkin Clove. So I'm really excited about these. And then I opened up a couple of packages from brands. I got a box from the Skinny Confidential. They sent over the pink balls, which are like the facial roller, and they sent over the new body sculptor. And I'm so excited about this. And then I also got this lemon... Meyer lemon, you can use it to like make a spritz and stuff I think because they sent over a little mini bottle of Prosecco but it looks really good and they also sent me a little napkin with my initials on it, the branded and they sent over a citrus ice tray from Williams-Sonoma which is really cute. Milo just wanted to <laughs> come in with me while we do the jean haul because these jeans, well, these are a new pair that I just got. I put them on to go walk Milo around the block and they're really comfy. I actually have these already in a lighter wash, but I wanted the darker wash for fall. I got them in a size 25. These are, they do run big because I'm a 26 and these I got in a 25. The rest of them I got in a 26 and I feel like I just... I don't know when it comes to jeans i definitely recommend going and trying them on in person because clearly all the jeans that i have bought in the past don't fit me and also i think that brands run so differently so yeah this is the first pair they're called the logan jean and i really love them i love how they're like tight on my waist they're mid-rise and they also like make your butt look good they're not like sagging on your butt, but they are loose on your legs. They look cute with like a little pair of sneakers or even like a little pair of heels. Okay, same wash. I got a lot of dark wash jeans because I do have a lot of light wash. And these are the Ren High Rise Slim Straight Jeans. I honestly am like really tempted to take a pair of scissors and cut the ends to make them like a raw hem. I feel like that would look super cute, but <laughs> I don't know. I love the fit of these, how they're so high-waisted. These are a 26, and I love the fit of them. All the jeans that I got are super stretchy, and I feel like the material is just really nice. They're stretchy, so they're comfortable. So you're not going to be like wearing these all day and feel like you want to take your jeans off. But yeah, I can't wait to wear these with like a little pair of vintage heels. I know I'm like standing on my tiptoes right now because I like to like see what it looked like. I like that these aren't long and they go right to your ankle. They also would look super cute with like a ballet flat or even a little loafer. Same dark wash. These are the Harlow Straight Mid-Rise. So cute, these are longer. So you can definitely wear them with heels and they look so good. But I just love how high they go and they really just like hug you in all the right places. They're so flattering and these are so comfy. This next pair is so fun. These are called the Peyton Bootcut Mid-Rise, size 26. I love this detail right here, how they are cut. So it's going to have like a raw hem. Okay, period <laughs> and the bottom is the same I love the fit of these I just think that they're so fun and different I can't wait to style them for a night out I feel like they would look so cute 
with heels, obviously. And even like a really fun, like vintage baby tee. I feel like they, I love, just love this detail because it's so different. And yeah, I can't wait to wear them. They all fit so well. I'm so glad that I went in today because I wouldn't have been able to, like obviously I wouldn't have known that there are so many jeans out there that actually do fit if I didn't go in person and try them on. Also, it just, I don't know, makes me feel a lot better because obviously this morning I was like feeling very discouraged. Here are the jeans that I wore today. They just like looked frumpy and they were just like too baggy and too big. I don't know. I just like wasn't really into them. So thank God we solved the jean crisis that we had today. I also ordered a few new cute belts. Obviously you can't wear a belt with these jeans, but I do like to add a belt just to like style the jeans and not just make it look so, you know, plain and simple. And then I got a plain white tee. This is the Luca baby tee. Very soft. I love the material of the rag and bone tops are just very stretchy and soft. So I got a plain white tee. I did end up exchanging my flats for a half size bigger. So I'm really excited about that. I can finally wear them. Every time I would go to put them on, I'd be like, oh, they feel just like a little bit too tight. I don't know if I want to wear them out of the house because if I do, then I can't bring them back. And what if like I'm wearing them all day and you're, you know how your feet swell when you like walk around and stand for a long time. So I was like, I don't want to obviously wear them out and then not be able to return them. I wouldn't know what to do. So that was good that I got to exchange them and they had the exact pair that I got in my size. And I got... A perfume for fall because I use the Baccarat perfume right now but I was like I don't know I just I'm like almost out of it and I didn't want to just go and purchase it again because I do feel like now that it's so popular so many people wear it and I don't know I just wanted to try something different not that it's like a bad thing that a lot of people wear it I know it's a very popular scent and it smells so good but I was like I just want to try a new one and this is my first perfume from Byredo Byredo I tried so many when I was there the girl that was working there was so sweet she was so helpful and I literally smelled so many different perfumes and she gave me a bunch of sample size of ones that I like, which I will show you in a second once I get this opened. <laughs> Yay. Okay, this is the one that I got. Vanilla Antique. It smells so good. Then I also got a candle. I smelled this one right when I walked in and I was like, oh my God. This is like the best scent I've ever smelled. And it's summer rain. This is one of their new candles and it has fig in it. It reminds me of the Diptyque fig candle and it smells so good. And also something that's really cool is when you buy a candle from them, it comes with these giant matches. Like how cool is this box? First of all, look at them. They're so big. I think that this would look, even just look so cool on your coffee table with like a bunch of books. You can put this on it, your candle, like a little tray. I love that they give you that when you make a purchase. And then, oh my God, she gave me so many. She was trying to give me all the ones that I really like so I could try them out. So I really liked Young Rose. That was one of my favorites. And I liked Slow Dance, so good. Gypsy Water is another really popular one. And then Sun Dazed. This one mixed with the vanilla that I got is like one of the best scents I've ever smelled. And then of course, 1996 because the year that I was born. And I just love this one. It's more moody. I guess you could say it smells so good though. And I'm so excited to use all my new perfume and stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna put all this stuff away. And I was gonna go to the gym, but I don't think that that's gonna happen because honestly, I don't really like going to Equinox like at, it's 5.45 right now because everybody gets out of work and they go right to the gym. So I'm like, it's so packed. I was like doing 12 3 30 ones and it was so busy. So many people were there after work and I like felt like I couldn't breathe because I was like, oh my God, there's so many people. I like got a lot of anxiety, but I'm trying to be better about 
like doing things, getting out of my comfort zone. You know, that's why I went on the day that, this was like last week, on the day that I went when it was so busy because I was like, I needed to get a workout in, but it was so late in the day. I was like doing work stuff all day. I had podcast and I was just really busy with work. So I went obviously later than I would have. Usually I like to do my workouts like in the early afternoon or in the morning. And um, yeah. Okay, well I'm ranting, I gotta go. <laughs> Hi guys, oh my god. There's one little piece of hair that doesn't fit in my bun when I put my hair up. It's so funny. It looks like a little rat tail. But I'm getting ready for bed now. I literally lost my camera tonight. I didn't know where it was all night and I was like looking for it. And then I just found it underneath the pile of clothes that I showed you guys. Well, my jean, jeans pile from earlier. And I found it. But anyway, I am getting ready for bed right now. But I just sprayed another combination of the perfume. I did... Okay, the girl that was working there today showed me this combination. Sundazed and the vanilla antique together it literally smells like a vacation it's So good and I'm so excited to have all these little sample sizes because I wanted to get another full size I just didn't obviously know which one I wanted and this one smells so good young rose I love it. I wanted to do a sauna tonight and wash my hair since I didn't wash my hair today but it's just gonna have to wait until tomorrow. Guys, it's gonna have to wait until tomorrow. Okay, time for skincare. Well, I'm gonna take a shower. Are you a morning shower person or are you a night shower person or are you both? I personally am both. I feel like I've always been a night person, like a night shower person, but I recently started showering in the morning like a couple of years ago. I don't know what it is, it's just like I can't start my day and I can't get into bed until I shower. I like literally can never get into bed at the end of the day until I shower. I'm just using this like micellar water stuff that I get on Amazon. It's called Skin to Feek and it's a five ingredient makeup removing cleanser. I've been using this for a while actually and I just like to do this first before I go in the shower and I have like a two part, two step cleanser routine that I do in the shower. And then obviously I'm gonna do some skincare. I'm really excited because I ordered like a bunch of new makeup off Sephora. I think it comes tomorrow. I ordered a new foundation. I don't even own a foundation right now because the one that I used to use ran out and I'm really excited to have another, or like have a new one because when I go out and like get ready for dinner and stuff, like to go out at night, I feel like it just changes your makeup, like having a good foundation. And I haven't had one for a while, I've just been using like a tinted sunscreen. And I also got new lip oil from Say. They came up with a new lip oil and I'm really excited to try that. Which I'll show you guys actually tomorrow. I think I'm going to just continue vlogging tomorrow because I want to make sure that my vlog is long enough. I've been trying to make my vlogs longer. And I'm going to go shower and do my skincare. I also used this face mask last night that I wanted to show you guys. It's a Luminate face mask. If you have any like acne scarring I had one breakout last week, which I hadn't had one in so long. I was like so happy because I struggled really bad with my skin last winter. My skin has been so good. I like broke out I think like twice this summer. I had a couple of breakouts like right here and then I had one over here somewhere on my cheek. And I got one last week right there. And my skin has been so good, just like no breakouts or anything. I've come a long way because Last winter I had like cystic acne all over my chin, all over my cheeks, and it was so bad. And 
I added this into my routine, this Jan Marini Luminate face mask. So I really liked it yesterday. I did it while I was in the bath last night and it felt so good. Oh, also I think I made do self tanner today. <laughs> Even though last night I was like feeling so delusional after my bath, I felt like I was gonna pass out and I couldn't do self tanner. I think I'm gonna do it tonight. I always get so scared because I'm like, I want to do self tanner, but I always mess it up and it looks so bad on my hands and like my knees and my ankles. I just like can never get it right. So I'm like, do I do it tonight or do I just go and get a spray tan? Because spray tans look so good. And I don't have to get anything like really dark because usually when I go to get a spray tan, I get like the bronze one, but I could get like a lighter one. And I feel like it looked more natural, but I like need self tanner or something. So I'm like, what do I do? Do I do it or do I not? Honestly, you know, we're gonna try it. And if it comes up bad, that'll be my sign to go get a spray tan <laughs> next time. My hairdresser, Jonna, gets spray tans all the time and she always looks so good. We go to the same place and she just like always looks so evenly bronze and tan. And oh, it just looks so good always. So I'm like, I need to, I need to do that because I literally haven't been out in the sun, as I said earlier. But anyway, okay, well, I'm gonna go shower, skincare, self tan. This is the self tanner I use, Lux Unfiltered. And I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning, my loves. Just got ready for the day. I'm wearing my rag and bone outfit that I showed you guys yesterday. The Logan jeans, I just threw those on because they're so comfy. And I really want to go get this new cold brew this morning. The Shaken Pumpkin something from Blank Street. So we're going to go do that and I'm so excited to try it. And I feel like the weather's finally, it's 60 degrees right now. So I'm like, okay. We can finally go and get like a pumpkin drink because I feel like before when it was too hot, I was like, I feel like I just can't drink anything pumpkin right now. You know what I mean? Because it was like too hot. It wasn't like fully fall yet, but I am so excited for fall. I'm like embracing it and I can't wait to light my candles again because they smelled so good yesterday when I lit them. I'm really mad though because I, I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. I lit both the candles yesterday and I didn't leave them. I I know that this is something that you have to do is leave them lit for as long as it takes to burn the whole entire top layer. Like what I'm talking about is see how this underneath, it's like that ring right there. This is all like a new candle that it didn't burn all the way flat. Like when you burn a candle for the first time, you wanna make sure you are burning it flat like all the way through but I lit them when I got home and I burnt it over like 11 o'clock at night and it still didn't go all the way so I'm just like sad about that because I know that you have to wait and I tried as long as I could but it didn't burn all the way. I'm making some lemon water right now. I'm also gonna make our morning smoothie that I made yesterday which you guys already know the recipe too. We've been having this every single day with the hemp and the flax and the berries and the banana, all the milk, date, protein. It's just so good and I love to, I just love a smoothie in the morning because I'm personally not the type of person lately. In the past I wasn't like this. Where first thing in the morning I get up and I just like don't want like eggs or avocado toast or anything like that. I've been wanting something that's just like a little bit lighter that i don't have to chew you know so i've been loving smoothies also you can just make them customize them so many different ways and you don't have to have the same one every day i've i've just been, been making it because i have only berries and banana but i really want to make like a mango i think i'm going to get mango and do a mango one next time but yeah this has been our favorite in the morning we have fresh bananas for the smoothie one time i was taking the bananas out of the peel to freeze and mac was like freaking out because a few of the bananas had like bruises on them and he was like babe babe what are you doing like you need to throw that away and i was like what 
like no you don't that it doesn't mean that the banana is bad or anything like it's just a bruise it must have like got I don't know like crushed by something in the bag when I was bringing home the groceries I don't know and he was like no that means that there's bugs living in the banana I was like I don't think so like Sephora box came in that I was talking about yesterday also you guys it's crazy how a fresh coat of self tanner like what it can do to your self esteem it didn't come out that bad on my hands. It didn't come out as bad as I thought. Yeah, I'm excited because the Sephora package that I talked about yesterday is here and I got a bunch of good stuff. So I was watching one of my old videos and my makeup looked really good <laughs> at that time of life. So I was like, oh my God, I need to order some of those products again because I don't have them anymore. And I just ordered exactly what I was using. So I got two nude sticks. I love nude sticks blush i got sunset strip which i'm pretty sure i have a shade that looks just like it right now but i don't know i feel like they're a little bit different and then i also got this one right here which i've never tried it's a little bit more pink it's called juicy melons i'm excited and then i got my foundation giorgio armani luminous silk i got two shades 5.5 and 5.1. 5.1 is if I am not self-tanned, just like my natural skin. And then I have 5.5, which is for when I have a spray tan, self-tan. And these are my shades that I got matched a couple years ago. And then also they do look really nice mixed together, although they look like the exact same in the bottle. They look really nice mixed. This foundation is so good. Also, if you have acne prone skin like I do, it's not gonna clog your pores or anything. So it's like safe, you know that you're gonna be good with these products. I've tried so many different products I feel like and these are the best if you have acne prone skin. Also mascara, this one is the best, it's from Say. Oh, I just love it, I love the applicator. And I'm wearing a new mascara right now by YSL that they sent me and I do really like it. But this one's a clean mascara, and mine is like all dried up and gross, so I had to get a new one. And then I got two lip glosses from Tower 28. I used to use the shade Oat all the time with Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. It's like the perfect pink. And then I also got this one, Coconut, which I feel like would look really good with like a brown liner. And these are just so creamy, and they're not sticky. They don't dry out your lips. They blend really nicely with lip liner and they last a really long time. And then I also got this Say Glossy Balance Hydrating Lip Oil, which I'm excited about. I love that. I love a glossy lip. I have like three so you can see the shades. It's like dark, medium, light. And last but not least, we have the best under eye concealer, the Tarte Creaseless Concealer, Marajuka. I'm pretty sure that's the Marajuka concealer. I don't know, I love this. I went to the Sephora in New York a few years ago and when I first got this foundation, because at the time I didn't have a foundation, I was using like, I was using this Bite Micellar, what do you wanna call it? It wasn't a foundation, but anyway. And I was like, I want something for like nighttime going out. Something that's going to be like, make your skin look flawless, good in pictures. And then I got this concealer to go with it because I don't really like the NARS concealer. It makes my under eyes feel a little bit dry. So I wanted something that was going to be more hydrating. And the girl at Sephora said that this was the best comparison to the NARS. And I was like, oh, I fell in love with it. I'm the shade 13N. It's the perfect under eye concealer and it blends so nicely with this foundation. This is like my go-to for my skin when I'm going out. It's flawless and also you can take pictures with flash and you have like no flashback or anything. It just looks really, really nice. And I was like, I don't have any like going out makeup. So I wanted to, pick those things up and then i also just got a box oh i got something from crown affair they have the best clips and they sent me their new color which i love i love these little clips for like half up half down Ooh, 
So they sent me those. And then I got a box from Body Vodka. They sent me some vodka to try. Even though I haven't really been drinking. Unless I like go out to dinner, I'll order a cocktail or order a drink when I'm out. But I don't know, my body's been like, my body <laughs> has been like not like wanting to drink alcohol at the moment. It's always nice to have on hand, like on your bar cart for when people come over or if you're in the mood to make a cocktail. So we have some vodka. And then all, oh, guys, no way. Wait, they sent me stickers. I'm so excited to put these on my computer. Cute. Look at the little vodka. They also sent me, no way, a sweatshirt. This is so cool. I'm gonna wear this to Pilates. I love it. If you guys are watching, thank you so much for sending me all of these pieces or all these things. And I really appreciate it. I'm excited to use my new makeup. I feel like I've been really good about makeup lately. Like I have like my staples. I don't know. I just feel good about it. I'm gonna put my new vodka on my bar cart. <laughs> so I feel like it's gonna fit in perfectly with all of my little things that I have. We can put it back here with my sunny vodka. Look, my little mini champagne from yesterday. Okay, here we have it. We have tequila. This is for margaritas, for a dirty martini. We have some vermouth, the lemon aprif. Is that how you say it? <laughs> More tequila. Saint Germain for Hugo spritzes, so good. Sunny vodka, body vodka. And then up here we just have all of my corks. Well, part of my corks from my collection. I love to save all them. One day I'm gonna do something with all the corks that I have. I just don't know what I'm gonna do yet. And then we have my glasses from Estelle. I love these glasses. This candle from Emma's Olives. And then Marcus, my friend, got me this when he was in France. I think he was in France. He was studying abroad. And he, yeah, he did, he got me this in Paris. And I just love it. <laughs> it's so cute and I have it on my bar cart. And then this right here is an oyster shell, but it is a bottle opener. And I think I got that from Crate and Barrel. And then my coasters, which are from Anthropology. So yeah, that is my little bar cart tour. Bar cart also is from Pottery Barn. I always get so many questions about it. I love it. I got it a few years ago and they still have it. So I'll link it for you guys if you're interested. I just got back from the gym and took a shower and made a really easy dinner tonight. I did cilantro lime rice underneath and then I just did ground beef and made a homemade Mexican seasoning. And then I cooked peppers and onions until the onion got like really caramelized. I did half an avocado on top and some hot sauce. Good morning, you guys. I'm literally freaking out. We just went to leave the house and at the same exact time, FedEx showed up and I had a package that I asked, that I had to sign for. And I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this. I, Prisoner, my favorite wine, they sent me a package and I'm just, I can't even believe it because I've loved this wine like ever since I started drinking wine and the fact that they are sending me That they sent me some bottles is so sweet and just so cool. So I'm really excited about that and then they also sent me I think this might be another brand Okay, so this is another brand that they have blindfold and it's a white white wine and then they also sent red. <laughs> I'm so excited. The red is my favorite, but okay, I have to go. Mac and I are gonna go get coffee. And I told him, I'm like, I need to open this up. I wanna see what it is. So just pull the car out front. I just got ready for my workout. I usually don't do Friday workouts with Mike, but we had Emma's wedding dress shopping on Wednesday at 11, which is usually one of the times that we work out <laughs> with him. So we didn't work out earlier this week and I'm gonna go do it right now, which honestly I like because it's a good way to end off the work week and to just get a workout in in the afternoon, which I don't normally do on Fridays, but I don't know. I'm really excited to do it. I feel like this week has just been 
very like it went by so fast so i'm glad that i get to get a workout in i submitted all the campaigns that i needed to submit and i had a couple of edits for brands just like things i had to do in the description box of like a youtube video and then also i sent over some instagram stories added all the text that they needed stuff like that and i just got off a call with my financial well the people who do all my investments and it was a really good call and i feel so good about just like everything and i don't know i feel like stuff like that can be scary but when you have calls with people i swear like they make you feel better i don't know i like get all stressed out when it comes to like taxes and investments because my investments i try not to look at them but they were like up so up and down and the market was like really bad last year and i don't know it just like stressed me out but you have to just like when it comes to that trust that <laughs> it's gonna come back up again and it did so that was good and we like went over a bunch of stuff doing a little element in my water right now before i leave i don't have any food to eat so i'm gonna try to go to the store and get like a protein bar or something it's just such a weird time because i had a smoothie earlier and that like a protein smoothie and i don't have anything to like make for lunch and i don't want to go out and get like a big lunch before i work out because i don't like eating a lot before i work out but i need to have something so we're gonna go do that this is my outfit i'm wearing a beyond yoga set and then this top is from joa brown and then i just have on some asics and my favorite sunglasses from madewell <laughs> Okay, I'm making dinner right now. I'm making bolognese tonight. And I cut up a few carrots and pieces of celery. And I have half an onion. I'm going to do garlic. And over here we have the pasta that I'm using tonight. A pound of grass-fed ground beef. And then tomato paste and some crushed tomatoes. Okay, I am cooking the ground beef right now. I added in the onion, garlic, and then the veggies after I let the garlic and onion cook for like one or two minutes. And then I put the veggies in, let those cook a little bit, added the ground beef, and then I'm just gonna let this cook all the way through before adding the tomato paste. The pasta's finally going. Are you the type of person where you clean <laughs> as you cook? Because I am so like that, like I can't have anything out if like i'm done with it like all the plates everything has to be in the dishwasher i'm like crazy about it comment down below do you cook as you clean or do you clean after you cook i'm curious because i'm definitely a cook as you clean person oh i also made homemade garlic bread i cooked it a little bit too long because it's a little bit too crunchy for my liking but this piece is perfect i'm gonna save that for when i eat i just had one and it's so good i took a full stick of butter and I made sure it was soft. I added like five cloves of minced garlic. I did salt, pepper. I eyeballed some oregano and basil. And then I just mixed it all together. Added Parmesan cheese and then put it on top of bread. And I baked it at 325 or 350. I don't know how long I baked it for. Clearly I overcooked it. So just keep an eye on it. Also Graydon showed me how to make that. And it's so good. Oh. The sauce is looking amazing and it smells really good too. 